Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the next three days will have some weather highlights or lowlights. Tomorrow would be wet roads and rain. Strong Arctic cold front on Wednesday may bring a brief kind of a 10 minute snow squall. And then Wednesday, or rather Thursday, the temperatures just tumble to near record levels on Thanksgiving Thursday. So some light showers and sprinkles out there now. These are Newport pictures with the low clouds and the cool temps. Readings now in the upper 30s to lower 40s. The rain should become a little steadier uh, during the overnight. Fortunately, we are above freezing, so ice and snow not an issue. But that's a different story as you head towards northern Worcester County. 37 Smithfield, low 40s elsewhere, including 41 Providence, 42 in Newport. So tracking the rain for later on this evening overnight through at least the first half of tomorrow. It may end as a few snowflakes um, northern suburbs late in the day. Not a big deal. Essentially a rain situation. Arctic cold front on Wednesday evening. What's interesting is that as this cold front comes through and it really means business as far as knocking down the temperature, it may produce a quick kind of a 10 15 minute snow squall. And I've seen this happen before with Arctic cold fronts. Sometimes you get a quick snow squall and it may last only 10 minutes, but it can dust the ground in spots. That's something that we'll watch closely for Wednesday evening. Then the very cold air coming up on Thanksgiving Thursday. This is your weather gear. Unfortunately, on Thanksgiving Thursday, temperatures in the low 20s, wind chills in the single digits and the wind gusting at times 40 mile, uh, 30 miles per hour. So the cold air that we're anticipated for Thanksgiving is still locked up across Canada, but this will break loose and work into our area. Watch the uh, forecast over the next couple of days. This area of purple coming right on top of us Thursday morning, 7 a.m. We're starting the day off at 12 degrees with winds gusting to 30 miles per hour. Here's the system coming through right now. We're on the mild side of it, so it's essentially just rain, but just to the north, you see a little strip of snow. Area of low pressure responsible for this moisture. This is tracking off to the north and east, impacting our weather overnight through the first half of tomorrow. So your morning commute is wet and not white. You see the temperatures and the precipitation tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. The green represents some light to moderate rain in the upper 30s, still raining at 11 a.m. and noontime. So early afternoon, some leftover rain. As it dries out later in the day, it may end as a wet snowflake. Not a big deal. The evening commute is actually drier with some gradual clearing, setting up for clear, cool, dry weather for your Tuesday evening. And Tuesday night. No snow here, but look just to the north along the Mass Pike and points north. If you have travel plans here tomorrow morning, it will be slippery, so be mindful of that north of the pike. Tomorrow morning, uh, rain likely, chilly, temperatures starting off in the upper 30s. Any leftover rain early in the afternoon will be ending by mid to late day with partial clearing by Wednesday evening. Here's that Arctic cold front on Wednesday. Watch what happens when it passes through Wednesday evening. A quick snow squall. Sometimes they can be intense, even though they last only, say, 10, 15 minutes. And then behind that front, boy, it turns cold. How cold? High temperature on Thursday, only 23. Wind chills in the single digits. Friday is cold and dry. Weekend looks half and half here. Dry Saturdays and rain on Sunday with temperatures in the uh, lower 50s. So uh, starting off wet tomorrow morning, but drier by tomorrow evening. All right, Tony, thanks. New tonight, we're learning.